Monos are a unit of eight young rebel soldiers in an unnamed South American country. They're adolescents with raging hormones and feral inclinations. Their leader is Wolf, Julian Giraldo, who's been given permission by the visiting messenger, Wilson Salazar, a former guerrilla fighter himself, to partner with Lady Karen Quintero. The messenger also brings a cow for milk with warnings to look after it. But in the drunken celebrations of Wolf and Lady's coupling, the cow is shot by dog, Paul Cubidas. Wolf, knowing the responsibility will fall on him, shoots himself. Bigfoot, Moises Arias, is named the new leader. And things turn even more feral after that as they move from their mountaintop base to the jungle. The group are holding an American hostage, Doctora Julianne Nicholson. Her attempts at escape will have consequences for Smurf, Del Bidoeda, and also for Swede, Laura Castiglione. Perhaps the only moral centre of the group is the androgynous character of Rambo, Sofia Buenaventura. This gripping tale is the work of Brazilian-born, Colombia-based filmmaker Alejandro Landes, who co-wrote the screenplay with Alexis dos Santos. With overtones of The Lord of the Flies and even Apocalypse Now, it delves into group dynamics, the loyalties, the betrayals, the bravado, the insecurities, as it draws this often violent portrait of a politically sensitive allegory. It's stunningly beautiful to watch. The photography of Jasper Wolf is sublime, as is the score by Micah Levy. Performances are fabulous from a largely inexperienced cast. The locations in Colombia are like nothing you've seen before, with whole new worlds opening up. And there is a truly spectacular sequence in a raging river that was, to me, mind-blowing. Interestingly, the American filmmaker J.C. Chandor was one of the executive producers. For a film that's totally original, totally engrossing and truly cinematic, seek out Monos. Yes, I agree with you that it's extraordinarily cinematic, oh, this isn't film. Oh, beautiful? And totally engrossing, even though for most of it you have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> what, what he does quite cleverly is, is kind of interchange the characters. Uh, at one point, it's the focus is on one of the young people, then the focus moves to another, then it moves to another, then it moves back to the Doctor, and it's a bit hard to sort of grip the narrative. In fact, there's no real story to this. Um, well, you do, I uh, like the fact that it's not just presented to you on a platter. Oh, no, You have to untangle the threads yourself. Mm. Yes, but the threads even are a bit hard. I mean, it's like a, an extraordinary descent just into violence. And I, I suppose if it's about anything, it's about the way that a group of young people can be so exploited when they're, you know, chosen to be part of some organisation, whatever that is, uh, because the violence that they enact is... I mean, it, it, halfway through the film, the violence kind of takes over and they're choked by rage and violence and lost in the jungle when they move from the, the yeah. plateau or the mountaintop down, down into the jungle itself, which is an interesting change. Maybe the film loses a little bit of focus as that, at that point because the, the stuff up on the plateau, on the ridge, is just extraordinary yeah. to look at. Apparently, that, that sequence shot in the jungle was sort of like on the point of that river joining where you see the silt from one part oh, yes. of the river joining the other part. And that was where they were based with no internet, no electricity, nothing. It was completely primitive living. Well, those uh, young actors must have become primitive themselves, I think. Yeah. The performances are really quite extraordinary. Well, only one, uh, uh, Arias, is a professional. All the rest of them, he cast, he got 25 kids together and ended up casting another seven out of mm. that that uh, 25. So, I mean, I, I, I just, I love this sort of daring filmmaking. Yes, going it is, yeah. Where no one's gone before. Certainly not, and maybe <laughs> we'll never go again. I don't know, it is it's quite engrossing and quite extraordinary bit of cinema, this. Um, and, and very disciplined, mm. I think, to be made under those conditions. And I think both locations were extremely difficult. Mm. I'm giving this four and a half stars. Yes, I'm giving it four and a half as well.